Yeah, ain't taking no. We lead the way and they follow the trail. We stay ballin' daily like Caleb Jarrell. Uh, Keep it on the line. Yo, YouTube, what's good with y'all boys? So as y'all can see, I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Jarrell. If it's not, then you already know who I am. You already know what's going on. And you already tapped in. But today, I actually just decided to make a video and show y'all my barber station, show y'all what I'm working with, show y'all my whole setup and how I run everything, you feel me? Um, Don't get me wrong, it ain't as clean as I normally have it clean because I'm like in between clients right now. So I just trying to drop a video for y'all. But... Uh, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to tap in and go ahead and start the video. All right, so first thing first, I ain't got nothing too crazy going on with the cape. Just the faded culture, all black, black on black, you feel me? Type cape, barber chair. Then I got my steam machine right here. Then boom, right here, I got my compressor. I actually got to order another um gun for mine because... It's then got clogged up, and I've tried everything that I know to do to fix it, and I ain't been able to fix it. But if y'all got some suggestions or whatever, then make sure I tap in and let me know, because I most definitely need that, because I ain't trying to spend no money if I can fix something. But, boom, I keep a, wrap, a towel right here just to, you feel me, uh, clean off my clippers in between clients or whatever, um, and just use that for whatever really... Then down here, that's where I keep my gloves. Right here. Uh, it's normally where I just put, like, a card that I use or whatever um, for my enhancements. Then down here, I got some extra uh, guards, some extra combs. So y'all can see I got a sponge. Down here, I got my blow dryer. Neck strips. Trash can, you feel me? Then we're gonna go back up top. There go my setup. I don't know if I'm the only one, but with my magic clips or these type of clippers, this part right here always come off. So I just left it off. I ain't feel like cutting it and it keeps slipping off or whatever, but them the main guards that I use. I like to uh, go in between these guards with Babeless and Wall on some of them. Uh, then these are the main tools that I use as far as like my brush or my combs and my straight razor. I actually just got this straight razor and I like it because it's light, but I can use the persona blades in it. So those blades are like some of my favorite ones right now. But if I got some suggestions, then let me know because I'm new to trying new things. Uh, I'm pretty big on products, as y'all can see, but um, I keep it kind of simple. I stick to the same thing. Got some sanitizer, some shaving gel, some uh, moisturizer for the facials that I do. Got to be that's really on Ezekiel. Feel me? Um, alcohol that's on Ezekiel. Got a couple spray bottles with some water. Y'all don't know. I always get compliments on this spray right here. So y'all go cop it and come back when your client tell you how good it smell and say thank you to me. <laughs> but uh, here go a duster. Then I just started using this um, for, what's it called? Um, I just started using my foam or whatever. Is that what it's, my mousse, that's what it is. Um, I just started using it kind um, this week. And I actually like it a whole lot because of the top on it. So the way that it come out, you feel me? Like if y'all can see that, I like how that come out. So I'm most definitely gonna keep buying that. Got some shaving cream. This is some anti-bump cream right here that I got from a class that I went to. Then this is some old mousse. I don't know why I still got it. I need to throw it away. Some coconut butter, some beer balm right here. This is normally what I use for my waivers or clients that wanna uh, get like a little moisturizer in their hair, some type of cream. Then I got my shavers right here. Got my three shears. And I got this little holder uh, 
I can't remember what website, but if I remember, then I drop it in the link or whatever in the description. Then I got my uh, Andy's Masters sitting right here. I ain't gonna lie, Andy's Masters probably like my favorite. Right, let me cut the air off because I don't like talking loud. Let me cut the air off. Andy's Masters probably like my favorite, uh, I say one of my favorite clippers to use just cause of the notch on the side. And I like the longer blade on the top. So it's like, it give you more room to work with some stuff. But the thing about it is I gotta buy a new uh, dock. Cause as y'all can see, it's like not connecting and the light not coming on. So yeah. <laughs> Everything that I be uh talking about as far as like taking care of your own stuff and as far as like everything as far as being a barber is on you. That's what I mean by that. So like when stuff go wrong, my nigga, you gotta you feel me be the one to go purchase the uh replacement or whatever it is that you wanna call it. So all that be on you. So that's what I'm saying. Like if y'all seen in my other video where I talked about how I get paid, then that's like where you got to put money aside into a investment type account or a operations type account or something like that. But if you need to know more about that, then just tap into my last video. But here go just some miscellaneous jewelry. Really, I just keep some extra stuff in here: some clips, some pencils, uh, some extra straight razors. Then down here, it's a basket where I uh, normally keep my snacks, but um, as y'all can see, I'm on Ezekiel right now, so <laughs> I need to go buy some more snacks too. Then I keep my notebook down here. This is normally where my towels be at, but they wash it right now. Got some extra cords back there. And these are my barber cards right here. Then I got a cool little case right here, Vincent type case. I normally use that uh, if I go travel somewhere or if I um got a kid that like need a little boost or whatever, I just let them sit in it. Then I keep my hot towel warmer right here, my mirror. Then like I said, I do facial, I do a facial service, so I keep that um charged up right there couple extra blades then down here is pretty much where i keep some extra uh shampoo stuff for my um hair dryer um some extra enhancement stuff extra um neck strips all that type of stuff and that's pretty much it uh as far as my station like i said i'm i feel like i'm pretty simple but everything get the work done you feel me um i invested in myself early so a lot of this stuff i had before i even got in school or i had it while i was in school so because i knew the type of barber that i wanted to be and the type of stuff that i wanted to offer so that's one tip i give you once you figure out what you want to go for and the people you want to reach and like the services you want to give or whatever go on and start investing in that junk early like i sold a whole bunch of my shoes i was in the, i was a sneakerhead in high school and when i figured that i went to cut hair i sold all that junk and i ain't gonna sell all of it but most of it just to you feel me buy clippers just to buy a um steam machine enhancements all that type stuff ring light everything you feel me i invested in all that junk early while i was in high school that way you feel me i knew like how I wanted to have stuff set up when I got in the shop and I ain't gonna cap it pay it off you feel me all I did was put in the work got into school because uh I was cutting before school so it was like I knew how to cut a little bit but over time I just was continued to believe in the process and over time I didn't got better so if y'all in the same position man make sure y'all just tap in um y'all got any questions or nothing like that and Make sure I just give 100% every time that you get behind the chair, every time that you try to get a new client in or whatever. Just take it serious. Like, you feel me? Don't be back there just because of the money for it, but actually try to perfect and get better at it. You feel me? 
So, y'all enjoyed the video though. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. And I'm gonna tap back in with y'all with the next video.